The Tsavo National Park in southeastern Kenya is one of the largest nature reserves in the world. It covers 21,000 square kilometers of semi-arid grasslands, savanna, and acacia forests. Day after day, something very unusual takes place here. The bottle feeding of young elephants who've lost their mothers and been brought up by humans. The orphans are now getting to know life in a world that is new to them here in the wild. We're accompanying them for a year as they're slowly reintroduced to nature. It takes many years until the hand-reared animals can make do without human help. The elephant orphans are embarking on a great adventure, returning to the wild. In the mid-20th century, there were more than 40,000 elephants in Tsavo. By the late 1990s, there were just 10,000 left, mainly as a result of relentless poaching. Elephants were hunted for their tusks to supply the illegal ivory trade, especially in northern Tsavo, where no elephants were left by the start of the 21st century. This is the story of their return. The first elephants to live in the north of Tsavo since then are young orphans who have been reared by hand and are now preparing to live independent lives without human help. The David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust brought them to Tsavo six years ago. We are not seeing any wild elephants. The survivors of those times actually decided to quit this area. And you know with elephants actually they do keep passing knowledge from generation to another. So whenever they had their own babies, they used to tell them that a northern area is not safe. So whenever you are there, keep off from people or just hide. But the hope is that eventually wild elephants will also come back from southern Savo. The orphans from the rehabilitation unit of the Sheldrick Trust go for walks with their keepers and thus get to know their new home. They each have a name derived from the place where they were found and rescued as babies. The youngest member of the group is Enasuit. He's only been here for a few weeks. For him, the process of returning to the wild is just beginning and Savo is an unfamiliar world full of new impressions and dangers. An adult elephant has no natural enemies apart from humans. But a pride of lions certainly represents a risk for a two-year-old. In the evening,
evening, the infants head for home. And home is the rehabilitation center at Ithumba. They spend their nights here, secure behind a wire fence. The trough out front is one of the few places to get water in northern Tsavo. Since the unit opened in 2004, more than 20 young orphans have graduated from the program and completed their return to the wild. The keepers call them their ex-orphans. These elephants, for example, they used to live in the stockade but are now free. They've come to visit the current residents who are expected back from their outing. Elephants live in family groups, each led by the most experienced female, the matriarch. 16-year-old Yata heads the group of ex-orphans here. They left the center two years ago. They started by uh, moving out, not coming for one day. The other day coming back to the stockade until one moment they just stopped coming back to the stockade. Because we are leaving the stockade open, if they come, they just get in. So even if they, they came that time, actually they were not getting to the stockade, but instead they were just lying outside here, showing, showing that uh, they are fully dependent and they can... Orphans, ...ex-orphans and wild elephants. They're back and they're here to stay in northern Tsavo.